Jai off the tyre. Mark Flanagan, a rivalry three years in the making. And now, finally, they face off. Ben Damon here at commentary alongside former world champions Ted Kofi and Billy Dibb. Here to watch a fight we've been talking about for a long, long time. Yeah, it's been a big fight we've been waiting for. I'm really excited that it's here. Um, the tone is already set. Jai Patai jabbing from the outside. Flanagan just having a look to see if he can get on the inside. And let's see what fireworks develop. Nice left hand there from Opatai early. Gets through the guard of Flanagan. Measured it well. And Billy, what are you seeing from Opatai early? He's just, he's just setting up uh, Bam Bam the way he has to, you know. Just stay long. Don't get caught up in a firefight with this guy. So it's the southpaw of the tyre, the gold trunks. Flanagan coming forward, the white trunks. Yeah, with Flanagan having fought Lebedev, a very, very accomplished southpaw, I don't think the left-handed stance will make any difference to him or cause him too, too many problems. You wouldn't have thought so. Lebedev, one of the best in the business. And off the tyre, just measuring now as Flanagan watches, surveys what's coming at him. Takes something on the way in there, and then fires back with his own. But Apatire uh, is up and away. Just 90 seconds into the fight, you can see that Apatire has got a far more relaxed demeanor. Uh, Billy, he, know, he knows his way around. Exactly, he's, he's been see. there many, many times. He's had a great, extensive amateur career as a pro. He's had a good run already. Yeah. Took a right hand there from Flanagan. Best moment for Flanagan so far in this opening round. Just 45. That's going to be one minute 15 Flanagan. rather remaining. The straight right to Kiefer Flanagan. Flanagan looking a little reddened around the face already early in this first one. I love this first one. Took a nice left hand and a nice jab there too, did Flanagan. And you're right, just reddening up from those jabs. Over the left side of his face, he's taken a few so far. And the tire snaps one out. There's a jab again, and it's looking good, that jab for Opatai. Yeah, I like, I like Jai's poise. Oh, nice left hand. Left hand from Opatai got through as Flanagan tried to close the distance. Yeah, Jai, Jai's poise is nice. He's got his eyes very, very, very keen on, on him. Body shot from Flanagan. And now, as they hang on on one side, Flanagan goes to work the other, his right hand. And now he gets free and throws a few, including another nice right hand to the body. Beautiful right hand. Popper time picks him off, gets in and away. <laughs> Draws a smile. It's been a great round so far, guys. That was good action from Jai Pattaya. Great start to this one here in the Horton Pavilion. We saw the tribute to Dwight Ritchie prior. And here in the building, there's been some fundraising done as well. And $10,000 was the biggest of them. Paul Griffin from Griffin Air Conditioning has donated that to uh, Jeff Fennick, Azuma Nelson Peace, and plenty of others are digging deep as well. So please continue to do so as you watch the action here between Opatire and Flanagan. Great left hand again from Opatire. Yeah, Jai, you can just see he's, he's, he's really picking them punches well. He's setting up his shots by touching with that right hand. Flanagan's waiting, looking for the big punch, but Jai's caught him. There you go, milling on the retreat. Nice right hand, hooked it in, did up a tie, got around the guard as well, and he felt it. Did Flanagan, there's a left hand as well that gets through, and Flanagan comes forward. Oh, it's big shots. Yeah. Over the top downstairs as well, up a tie. Opening up, looking to impress here on TV. They said they're coming for the knockout, and they both are, aren't they? Nice eight-punch combination there, the moment. This is the aggression we wanted to see from Jai Pattaya. We're seeing it. Great body shot. Plenty right. more right there. And there you go. We said this would bring the best out of Pattaya. Flanagan needs to get that head in. Can't be sitting there like a duck. No. Over the top comes up a tire. Flanagan had his little moment on the inside, but it's up a tire pouring in the pressure. Lefts and rights are hooking. Good right hand from Flanagan. Good left hand from up a tire. Oh, great punch from left hand from up a tire. He's taking big shots on the inside. It's got Flanagan. They both are. The difference is that Flanagan is looking hurt when he's hit. Up a tire is not looking too, too, too hurt when he gets hit hard. Wow. They're the kind of shots that break you down, guys. Absolutely. 
massive aggression from Jaya Pattaya. We didn't know what to expect. Was he going to box? Was he going to try and get through against the come forward fighter? Well, no. He's going to take it right to him. He's going to throw lots of shots. And so far, he's looking dominant in this fight. Yeah, Ben has responded very, very aggressively and looking very, very good and determined in the second round. Flanagan, though, let's not forget his credentials. He can punch, he can box, and we just saw a nice right hand, and he's as tough as they come. Billy, if you can fit in a quick answer, you're looking pretty fit and sharp yourself. Are you um, got anything on the horizon? Yeah, What's looking to low? fight on uh, December the 21st at Hillsborough Entertainment Centre. I'm uh, set to face uh, Van Toa Tran, who's a Vietnamese-based American. Undefeated kid, so looking forward to that. Excellent, me too. And back to the action. Look at these guys go in the middle of the ring. Yes, so it is Opatia in the late stages of this second round who's had a huge period. Very red is the face of Mark Flanagan. He's taken a lot of shots. He's responded with plenty. He's digging deep, he's tough, and he goes well there to the body again to end the round. Smiles, they touch gloves. This is a really good fight, as we knew it would be. Because you're seeing the country's two best cruiserweights, and they are going at it. Jai Opatire, Mark Flanagan. This the third round of a scheduled 10. Not the tire. Again, is leading the play. Nice one again. Yeah. Left in their counter punching roll. We don't often see. Yeah, well, look, he's, he has to be cautious going in because Jai's counter punching him and catching him. And it's left Flanagan a little bit cautious. He doesn't want to be cautious. It's just not his fighting style, but he's forced to be. I feel like Flanagan needs to just apply the pressure, come forward, move his head, exactly. don't walk into that jab, you know, just be more mindful of that jab that's coming right at you. But if you look at the expression on Jai's face, he's comfortable, he's relaxed, he's touching, he's aware. He's just you know. very, very relaxed. You can yes. see he knows his way around the ring. Nice shot to the body. Left hand straight through to the body it was. That is a nice punch and a punch that Jai Bataya looks for a lot. He's had a lot of success though with his jab and Plenty else here, lots of hooks. Not great variety, great movement. He's battle tested, you know, he's, he, he's taken the shots against some of the bigger fighters. Oh, that's oh. It. that is a huge shot from Jai Opatara that got through onto Mark Flanagan. He's battle tested, but he's in a battle here against a real young gun. Jai Opatara has a minute and 23 seconds to try and put an exclamation mark on what could be the finest performance of his career by a long, long way. He's going to go for the kill. This is bragging rights. Number one in Australia. He's given it upstairs. Over the top comes up a tie. Flanagan doesn't know how to hold. He's jabbing and he's looking Ooh. shot on the inside from Flanagan. But up the tire, looking for that straight left hand. Can he find it through the guard again? It's the shot that's sent into the canvas. It's the shot he wants. Yeah, he has to replicate that again. He's certainly looking for it. That straight left hand down the middle is money. It's just absolutely money. Flanagan watchful. Just at punching distance, though. He's camped in that spot. He's in up the tire range. Absolutely, Opatire back on the jab, looking for the counter punch, trying to get um, Flanagan to commit, looking for that big left hand, there it is. There it was. Couldn't get that one through. Flanagan does look like his head's cleared a little bit, though. It, absolutely, he's clear. He's fit, his head's clear. To the body goes, Flanagan. Ten seconds, boys, ten seconds. Counters there to Opatire. And Mark Flanagan will get out of that round. He was dropped and dropped hard. He's got to not sit, be a sitting duck while Jai's just touching him with the jab, the range finder, then coming with that big left hand. He's got to move more to Jai's, to Jai's um, um, right, so to his left. Just to alleviate them big right hands. And he's got to be more aggressive when he gets on the inside, working the body hard. Look at Jai, he's on fire. Big shots from Opatire. 
Flanagan throws his own hook, but oh, off the tyres underneath. Back, and they hang on. Both and... these guys are just class. It's a world-class fight, this. Absolutely. Flanagan's thrown with such intensity, and it's making his punches a little more deliberate and easy to see. Just relax. Oh, oh, that's a very, very low blow from Matt Flanagan. And John up the tyre goes down hard. He'll have five minutes if he wants it, and the way that went in. You want the five minutes? Better to laugh than cry. <laughs> like a couple of school kids they were there. Wow. But it's hurt him. And Mark Flanagan, I don't know if that was intentional, but dare I say he needed it then. He did need it. <laughs> he wanted a break. Them up or not, he wasn't gets one. Just them up. It definitely wasn't deliberate, I could tell you that much, guys. Okay. It was an accidental shot. No, no, he's not that style, Mark Flanagan. He's a fine Australian boxer. He's been around a long time. He's flown the flag for our country. It's some big bounce internationally. And he's here to fight. He's up against it, up against Jaya Pattaya, who scored a knockdown. Let's go. The referee asked him, are you ready to go? said, let's go. Let's go. Let's go indeed. Get back at him. Oh, wow. Beautiful. Wow. Great job. He might have a slightly higher voice in the interview, Ben. He may well do. <laughs> but he's looking good. Let's see what impact it has, if any, that low blow. Oh. The mouthpiece comes out. Keep going, keep going. Keep going. Les Fear says no. Oh, no, oh, no. No dental concerns. We'll let you go. Now, hang on, and now he will allow it. There's another, there's another inside shot. Over there. Gee, this round could go some time. It's over here, Les. There you go. Come on, John. <laughs> Goodness me. Where's the promoter? <laughs> I think we all missed the little inside shot that Mark Flanagan threw when, when there was a break. But anyway. Yeah. Well, <laughs> this is a long round of boxing. Indeed. Not a bad thing for Mark Flanagan because he was getting away from him. Absolutely. And the pace is slow, but there is off a tire with precision. Yeah. Just, just moving through the gears nicely, Jaya Patai. That's a difference in this fight, guys. Off tire is just so sharp in this one. He's so, so sharp. He's really sharp. Seemingly, it looks like he's not. So far, so good for Jaya Patai. Oh. Beautiful left hand and right hook. Great combination. Now he goes to work on the ropes, does Mark Flanagan. Mark, stop, stop, stop. Mark, keep him up. I'm going to warn that's a second warning now. Okay, you're just hitting low again. Let's go. Okay, these low blows could play their part. The point starts to come. nonsense from Les Fear, but I think the uh, the point deduction for Flanagan at this stage would be academic. It wouldn't make a difference to the result if it came to the so far. Flanagan goes to work on the inside. This is a better position for him. That's exactly where he needs to be, just breaking down to the body. Work your way up. And suddenly he's back at range and off the tyre with opportunities. Watchful though. To me, it seems that every time Jai lands a good shot on playing, he actually does buzz him a little bit. Yeah. yeah. The, the punches from upper tie, as you say, that they're more telling. Flanagan's punches. Okay. Some of them are landing, but they're not really harming upper tie. Oh, to the body goes Flanagan. Off the tyre, over the top. Hunting for that lead left hand, and it gets through on that occasion, but it's just blocked enough by the gloves. Nice, nice. Look. He's away again, he's off the tyre. I do like uh, Jai setting everything up off the jab. Occasionally he'll um, disregard the jab and go with the straight left, but everything's coming back to the jab. It's beautiful. A shot. Nice shot. Mm from Mark Flanagan. 
I think it's safe to say that at this point, Flanagan needs to do something special to get back in this fight, guys. He certainly does, and he's trying to do it, but he's got some heavy artillery coming at him. Even these jabs are getting big from Opatari. He's sitting on his punches and punching hard. There it is, that left hand. Follow that with the right hand, that's what's gonna happen. Flanagan. Oh, I think Flanagan like, put it against the ropes. Right. This is not looking good at all. <laughs> now he's breaking them down. Everything John is doing is working. I just, I just like to see Jai move down and work that attack from the body to the head, and he'll cause even more damage. He's having so much success with that left hand to the head. He's picking him off well. He finishes it with a sneaky jab. If Jaya Bataya could stop Mark Flanagan, because he's a man who in 2017 went the distance with Denis Lebedev in Russia. Went nine rounds with Arsen Gulamirian. We know how tough he is after Payne Watts' brave performance this morning. And went the distance as well with David Light earlier this year. So he's not a man. Who goes anywhere without a fight. But he's taking some shots from young Jai Yeah, he's taking big shots. And Flanagan's right eye is starting to look a bit weary. It's starting to look like it's closing. I think he's got a little cut on it. To be honest yeah, with is, that, is that what's happening? Yeah, it's... Um, just right, looks let's comfortable. Go, it's it, very, back. very comfortable. Let's go. Yeah, there's significantly... <laughs> a significant amount of swelling under that eye and around it. Maybe a cut too. Come on, let's go. Come on, clear the coin. I think it's frustration for Flanagan. I'd like to see Flanagan just let, let, let it all go, you know. I mean, just well for the win, you know. You just got to take land, land a good shot and see how things go for you. Right, let go, Bofius. Bofius, step back. I think it's imminent, to be honest, because this is one way traffic at the moment. Yeah, it's going through the gears nicely. And to be Body shots, Flanagan. Exactly. That's it's better. To be fair, I don't think it's what Flanagan isn't doing. I think it's what Jaya Patai is doing. He's Good point, Ted Kofi. Exactly. He's really shutting him down. He's stopping him on the counter. He's popping the jab. And when Flanagan's about to hit, boom, he gets two of those. And it's very difficult for Flanagan to make a positive move. Oh, no. There's no weakness in what Mark Flanagan's doing. There's just a great deal of skill from Jaya Patai, who took a shot there. Right. Okay. 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 Flanagan looks weary. He looks, he looks battle worn, as you said earlier, Billy. One minute round number six, ladies and gentlemen, make it loud! Oh. Up. Go on, Just on the belt line, on. that from off the tyre. Flanagan says, what about him? Where's my five minutes? <laughs> oh, there it is again. The southpaw, power left hands, getting through the guard of Flanagan time and time again. He's just not seen that shot. He's not seen it at all. And, and Jai looks, looks, looks so comfortable in there. It's not funny. I right. think it's safe right to say point. that Jai Get is back. the real deal. Okay. Oh yeah, Flanagan's no joke. We've seen Flanagan in big fights with some great KOs. And then he's caught Jai some clean shots and Jai's won him and come back. Lots of feeling there. As you'd expect, <laughs> slick from up a time. Let's get the energy oh. inside the venue, ladies and gentlemen, round seven. Here we go again, Jai Bataille, Mark Flanagan. Return to centre ring, and it's that trusty jab of Jai Bataille that gets us started, and he fires out another, hooks it around. Good body shots there by Flanagan. Yeah. He's trying to slow him down. Flanagan by no means out of this fight. He's still dangerous. He's showing he can get inside when he really wants to. True. He's staying at distance quite a lot, but would he be best advised to try, try and get in there and take this fight to close quarters? Definitely. I, I, think, I feel that's the only way that he can win this fight, by being close and breaking him down. Oh. Oh. Slip there. I <laughs> think <laughs> <laughs> We've seen worse given. Come on, man. Come on. 
<laughs> that would have caused that roar there. We've mentioned Andrew Maloney a couple of times, but he had one in Chile a little while ago that there's no lesser knockdown than that, and it was called. <laughs> Bam Bam's corner's calling for him to get on the front foot, exactly what we've been saying he needs to do. Absolutely. The pace is slowed a little bit undeservedly. I'm sure the action's going to be a nice right hand from the front of the tire. And good body, body shot, shot Flanagan. And a great counter right hand off the tire. But he is starting to close that distance. Yeah. Obviously. It's taken a long time. Round seven we're in now, but he's certainly in closer. Let's see what happens here. Watch the heads inside. Come on. Obviously, that's his strategy, you know, to break down the body and try and slow Jai down. Come on, punch your way out. Come on. He's throwing a lot more punches to the body in this round. Right. It seems like Jai's having a little bit of a rest in this round. Yeah. 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 I say that, then he throws a left hand down the middle. Well, Flanagan, you know, we can't afford to wait. You can't look at your opponent with him when you've got an opponent like Jai. You've got Jai. to keep working. There it is, off the back of them all, the left hand. Right, okay, okay. You know, as we see so much of boxing in, in the media nowadays, you talk about levels, people always... Oh! Talking about levels, <laughs> that left hand is at the very top of the class. That's a second knockdown in exactly the same way. Late in the seventh round. Okay, let's go. Les says, how are you feeling? He says, yeah, I'm good. Bam Bam is tough as nails. He's absolutely tough as nails. But he's just being picked off and picked off hard. Do they make that decision at some stage? Stop, right, stop, right, stop, right. To be fair, they've got no, they've got no reason to make the decision right now. They're not discussing it, they're not talking about it. Bam Bam's fit, he's strong, he's good on his feet. Yes, he's been down a couple of times, but he's not, he's not, he's not drunk. He's not inebriated. <laughs> he's, he's, he's lucid. He's a credit to Australian boxing, both of these guys. Oh, yeah. Well, there's no way he'd want to stop it. No way. He'd still give himself the chance of snatching this fight, because he can punch and punch hard, can Mark Flanagan. Yeah. He's got body shots. Chance. But if he goes out, he's gonna go out in the shield. You can just see that. Body shot Flanagan works well inside. Off the tire comes back. I think he may have done damage to his nose as well, but yeah. he's straight left. There's that straight left hand as well. And again, there's a lot of them coming. It's getting close, it's getting close. The corner's looking very close to now. Yeah. I think there's some conversation that maybe oh. as giant the tire throws big shots and as he stumbles and slips Mark Flanagan target practice, target practice. is being picked off badly there is a towel yeah. in the hands of a cornerman yeah. it's now they're looking very and strong. the groggy Mark Flanagan may have had enough of this punishment oh, oh, look the world class giant retire who's picking him off Time and time again, most notably with that big left hand straight down the middle. He's sitting there waiting for it now. He's taking them time and time again. Yeah, Jai's not even breathing heavy. He's just target practice. Yeah, Jai's just definitely passed his test tonight, guys. Yeah. He's passing his test with flying colours. Yeah, this is a world-class performance from Jai at the tire. And yeah, Mark Flanagan's had enough. Yeah. And that's about time. Surely his corner's got to have a very first look at this. Off a tire, just toying with him at the moment. Yeah, it's and again, Groggy oh, looks around, sees the clock. It's not a pleasant look for him either because there's plenty of time yeah. and there's plenty of those left hands. And left hands are on the point. They're yeah. on point. Yeah. Target practice right now. It's been target practice the whole round. Oh. Again and again to the body goes off a tire. Right, right, please. 20 seconds left. Yeah. I think, in contrast to the end of the last round, his corner will look very, very closely. Uh, if if he makes it, I he goes to work. He's off a tire. After this round, I think. Yeah. This could be the last five seconds of this fight because there'll okay. be. Okay. A very deep discussion in the corner of Mark Flanagan. Oh, Let's get into that corner. 
and have a listen because he is taking so much punishment. Oh, that's enough. Here we go, guys. I think he's walking around the ref to stop it. Yeah, that's it. It's all over. That's enough. Yeah, it's all right by you guys. And that's we enough. Stop. And John Fatai has graduated to the top of the cruiserweight class in this country with a stoppage victory over the extremely tough Mark Flanagan. What a performance from a 24 year old who goes to 19 and 0 but goes to another level.